Good morning and welcome to Mission Control Houston and the final International Space Station update of the year. We're here with the International Space Station Flight Control Team inside the Space Station Flight Control Room where Greg Whitney is leading the team as today's flight director with help from Capcom Rob Hayhurst. On board the space station, three members of Expedition 34 are more, or the six members of Expedition 34 are more than halfway through their day, which began at midnight central time. They are Commander Kevin Ford and Flight Engineer Tom Marshburn of NASA, Russian Flight Engineers Oleg Novitsky, Evgeny Turelkin, and Roman Romaninko, and Canadian, Canadian Space Agency Flight Engineer Chris Hadfield. Ford, Novitsky, and Turelkin have been at the space station since October 25th when their Soyuz TMA-06M vehicle docked to the Russian Poisk module. They're now on their 65th day at the station and their 67th day in space. And they were joined eight days ago by Marshburn, Hadfield, and Romaninko, who launched into space inside their Soyuz TMA-07M on December 19th and docked to the station's Rosfit module on December 21st. They're on their 10th day in space, and along with their fellow crew members, are currently orbiting 252 miles above the Atlantic Ocean, heading towards the tip of Ireland. After arriving just last week, the new crew members got their first week in space off to a running start on Monday with a full load of maintenance, science, and orientation activities but the entire crew took a rest on Tuesday to celebrate Christmas with the traditional meal, gifts, and calls to family members back on Earth. They even sent some holiday cheer down to their teammates on the ground with a few songs, including I'll Be Home for Christmas and a special, me and a special message. They're on the, uh, they're the 13th expedition crew to spend Christmas together on board the space station. It was back to work on Wednesday, however. Ford worked on a couple of experiments, including the Lego Bricks project, which is aimed at demonstrating scientific principles for students, and the reversible figures experiment, which tests astronauts' perception in microgravity. Hadfield and Marshburn spent some more time getting oriented to life in space while their Russian crewmates took part in some ongoing Russian experiments that study various aspects of astronauts' behavior in space. And yesterday, Hadfield started work that's continuing today with the NeuroSpat experiment. Hadfield spent yesterday wearing a hat that measured brain waves for the experiment. That experiment uh, measures a crew member's spatial cognition and brain processing in microgravity. View of him with that cap on yesterday here. Meanwhile, Marshburn and Ford continued to work on the LEGO project, and Ford worked with the station's treadmill performing some maintenance, while Novinsky, Turelkin, and Romaninko drew blood samples to measure the volume of red blood cells in their systems. Today, the new crew members are focusing most of their efforts on orientation and a crew health care system drill, while Ford works on the InSpace 3 experiment, which studies the fundamental behavior of magnetic colloidal fluids under the influence of various magnetic fields. That's what's been going on in space this week, and this is Mission Control Houston.